Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Dan Does Tech Stuff. So today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be adding some extra storage to my Lenovo Legion Go. Now I've been on the fence with maybe opening the unit up and adding some memory to it or upgrading the 512 gigabytes on here to maybe a 1 or 2 terabyte. So before I go and open up the internals, I want to explore some other options. So just in case you guys are finicky about opening up your unit and potentially voiding your warranty, if you still have that, um, here are a couple ways that you can uh, do this. So I was at uh, Costco a couple days ago and I came across this guy here, which is the inspiration for this video. So this is a Lexar high performance portable SSD with the mag attached. So I was looking at this and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I could probably use this for my RO, uh, for my Lenovo Legion Go. Um, so what it is, is this is a small portable SSD. Um, it's got this mag attached. So this is what, you, you know, if you have a smartphone with the uh, mag safe on it, you can attach it and charge. It's got the USB cable, obviously, and then this adapter. But look at the speeds on this. This is 2000 megabits per second read and 1800 megabits per second write. So these two in itself was something that drew me to um, me exploring how I could attach this to my my unit here. Um, so I was so excited about it, I bought two. So here's my original package and I uh, wanted to share with you what I ended up doing with this. So um, this is about $49 over at Costco. So, so such a good deal. So if I were you, um, take a look and see if this is still available at your Costco. Uh, one terabyte for about $49, super good deal, okay? So this is uh, the unit in itself. This is my five, uh, this is my one terabyte Lexar SSD that I got from, from the package here. And then, then you'll need your the USB-C cable and I got this, um, this is from Amazon. This is like a 180 degree like USB-C um, female male to female. Okay, so it's kind of an extension. I'll, t I'll show you what uh, you need to do with this. And then uh, the other thing I'm going to show you is how to add uh, just an SD card to it. So that way you have uh, nominal storage options. So um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, let's go ahead and add this guy first. This is, uh, you can see the speed difference is 100 megabits per second, second, so not anywhere near as fast as the SSD. Um, so this is the 512 gigabyte memory. So for if you guys are on a budget, I think I picked this up for about $25. Um, and it comes with an adapter, so that way if you needed to interchange this between your PC, um, maybe your, your gaming laptop versus your Lenovo Legion Go. So this is pretty simple. Let's open that up real fast. Now, I remember one time I actually cut the card because I was was being a little, a little bit quick and not paying attention. I actually cut the, S, the micro SD card at it, which is not good. <laughs> so I don't want you to have that mishap. Okay, so this is the 512 gigabyte memory card. You can tell right now on my Lenovo Legion Go, I don't have anything, my hard drive is all filled. Only have about 59 gigabytes left. So the first thing is very easy to add 512 gigabytes to it is put in the SD card. And as soon as I pop this in, it should recognize it. And if it doesn't, well, we'll see. There it goes, okay, perfect. So just took a little bit of time for it so you see it's got 477 gigabytes of usable space now let's go ahead and add this guy here the one terabyte so you'll need this guy here this is the adapter i'll post a link in my description but this is a 180 degree usb male c male to usb c female so you're going to put that at the very top right here i'm going to choose the top and it just gives enough, it gives you, give you enough um, width here. So that way it extends to the back. So it attaches right there. Then you take your USB-C cable. You're gonna put that in to the female. And here's that MagSafe thing I'm talking about. So with this 
with this guy, you've got this um, magnetic attachment. So I put it right here. You can kind of see where it's at. And I just line it up. Boom. And it stays. It's, that's the cool part. So this stays just like that. And it doesn't interfere with the handle. It doesn't interfere with the, the kickstand here. And then you just attach that to the hard drive. Voila. And that's it. And then let's go ahead and look at the memory. Check out my memory now. You can see that I've got my C drive. I've got my SD card and I've got my hard drive there. 942 usable. Okay. So that's it. That's all I have. So then you can play. You've got lots of storage. You can have the option to put Steam games on it. And uh, there you go. Hopefully you found value in this video today. If so, please give me a thumbs up. It really help the channel grow. Um, if, if it's your first time coming to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, I uh, appreciate everyone supporting this channel, watching me grow. And um, like I always say, take care of yourself and each other. And we will catch you on the next video. Bye for now.